Up next, we're going to run the uh, Quandrit benchmark on both the uh, Droid X and HTC Thunderbolt. See, right now it's testing the uh, CPU performance. As you can see, the uh, Thunderbolt's already into the uh, graphics test way ahead of the uh, Motorola Droid X. And Motorola is just now getting to the uh, graphics test. Let's see, Thunderbolt showing a 1495, which is interesting because when we ran it earlier, it was actually about 1800. So there might be some uh, background apps running. So we're going to run it again here. Uh, let's see, Droid X is showing 1423, which is about average. So let's see if the uh, Thunderbolt gets any better result this time around. About halfway through the graphics test. Okay, it's still at 1490. So there might be something, like I said, running in the uh, background that's using data because we ran it twice earlier and uh, we were getting right around 1800 on there for the uh, benchmark. Another one we got is uh, NeoCore that measures the actual uh, frame per second count. Okay, it came up with uh, 57.7 frames per second. When we ran it earlier, it was showing 59.9 uh, frames per second. When we did a NeoCore on the uh, Motorola Droid X, it was uh, hanging right around uh, 31 to uh, 32 frames per second. So, even though for some reason right now Quadrant is giving us pretty close results between the two, um, we have seen it go as high as uh, 1800, um, but we can tell you that overall use of the device does feel uh, pretty f fast and smooth. As you can see, going through the home screens, there's very little delay at all. Also, going into the main menu, everything moves really smoothly. So overall, right now, even though it's not a uh, dual-core processor, still at 1 gigahertz uh, Snapdragon. It's the uh, newest generation, so um, it is a pretty fast device overall. Um, so can't really uh, complain there. Be sure to check out our other videos on the HTC Thunderbolt and our website at phonearena.com.